Hello everyone, Psychwitter here. I'm just making a follow-up to that first vid I did. Um, I know I said that it'd be like a daily thing or maybe every other day, but hear me out. I've been sick over the past, basically right after I made the first video, so that's the explanation. It's only been a week though, so not too bad. Not too bad on my, not my part. So, um, I guess we'll go to the mini-map. Uh, you can see, obviously, there's been a big difference since um last we took a look at this um if you'd remember and you can still see it right here a little bit of yellow there was this big yellow group and we basically just gang beat them whoever yellow was you know i i haven't fought with anyone but yellow and i think for purple and for green and for light blue and for me red that we just we just all decided to team up on this one guy because he was being so um, hostile and attacking everyone. So yeah, not a smart move on his part. But as you can see, my little empire I got going on here has expanded greatly. In fact, I have the most stars, which is not the greatest thing to have at this point in the game because it kind of makes me uh, puts a nice target on my head, I guess. But, uh, we'll deal with that when it gets there. Um, right now, I guess my strategy, like I said, I'm a little nervous about exactly who will attack slash not attack me. Once this whole buffer that is yellow has been killed off by us warring factions, um, I'm I'm interested to see how it'll play next. I don't think light blue will attack because we kind of have a peace thing going. Hopefully it stays that way. Um, but I haven't seen much movement up here. Now, in if these two aren't attacking each other, that means this guy isn't attacking anybody. And the thing about Neptune's pride is you you generally always have an enemy, and somewhere it's kind of like you're either expanding or you're you know decreasing it's not much of the other there is some tactics where like this guy I imagine he'll lay back for a while just because he doesn't have the strongest forces but when you've been isolated for so long like this guy and he I assume probably made a peace pack with light blue there's bound to be you know some pent up want to kill my perfectly awesome fleet. Anyways, so, watching this, but we still have some stars here, and I do have some, you know, a decent amount of industry, well, alright, not even that much. I'll add some more industry up here, just so I can have a decent force enough to counteract him. Um, other than that, I'm really interested to see what goes on here. Like I said, this is... Think of this like, I don't know, the Gaza Strip or something. This is just... It, it's going to be contested. No one's going to go for this because... Like, look at how many ships there are. You'd just you'd have to pour so many in, and it's just not worth it in the long run. So I, I imagine that at least this, this will just stay there. Um, it is nice. I do have a decent-sized fleet right here on the border in case shit goes down. Um, but I don't know. Like, I have no idea what this guy's doing. I really hope we 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 don't have to attack each other. Like, we kind of have this big buffer zone of just empty space. I've upgraded my distance. I can jump. You can see this green line right here to. 0.75 light years, and so that kind of decreases that, but still, I mean, right now I'll, I'll be interested to see what green does. I mean, he doesn't have that big of a force there, so you'd think if he had any intention of ever attacking, he'd at least put some sizable force there, especially when I'm boasting a, you know, 50 some fleet. So, hopefully that's good, although I'm going to remain wary. That's why I've been upgrading these two right here. Just so I can have something close to this side of the field, where it's it's close enough so that I can always attack with it. But, 
you know, far enough away so I'll have some warning before the attack. See, because it's kind of staggered here. I can always use those more ships. Um, so I'm debating. I have my biggest fleet right here, 69. Yeah, that, that is correct. Um, and so should I send it up here? Because that way, see, these AI, they have been set to AI, as you can see, um, over here. See, they were actually set to AI. Funny, it, yellow, orange is actually doing better than yellow now. But um, they are AI, and so if I just swept in with one of these big fleets, I could easily take out one of these guys. But, one, I'm wasting a lot of ships, and I don't have that many to spare, like, compared to others. And I wouldn't be getting that much out of it. But still, free industry. I can't remember what's kept. Uh, you know what? I'll go over that. I re if you remember, I was mentioning a tutorial vid. Hopefully, since I'm feeling better and my voice doesn't sound like um, gravel on sandpaper that much today, uh, I, think, I think I'll try to go ahead and do that today. If hopefully, hopefully today, um, but yeah. So I mean, check this. It's it's really, it's really just a standoff here. I don't think any of us wants to attack each other. I just have a feeling that when the time comes and communication has been had, that I will be the one left on the short end of the stick, just because my name happens to be at the top here, and I'm not the strongest. Uh, I could go over the, you know, specs. I could, here, let me compare. Uh, to Blinny. He's probably the you know, biggest threat I have to wear, deal with right now. I have more economy than him, so I'm pumping him more money. Um, that's pretty much it. He's got a lot more ships than me. He's got the fleets, doesn't matter too much. Industry's got a little bit more than me. Um, but he's had that longer, so he's already been able to produce more ships from that. He has two science, two more science than I do, which is pretty big. Science is by far the uh, highest cost, and it allows you to upgrade these um, weapons and uh, range speed, all your technology. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> uh, so yeah, I was almost done with that cold. Um, yeah, but that sounded beautiful on the microphone. <laughs> Moving on, I really, <laughs> it's going to make me sound like a dick when I say this, but I really hope that light blue takes the next beating, because you can kind of see he's being sandwiched in, and if you look at him, he's not too powerful. Like, he's powerful, I grant it, but, like, I think, I'm upgrading weapons, so... That's the only issue I've had with all this. I see he only has that many ships. It's really that bad. My saving grace, if anything at all, if I don't get annihilated because of my stupid, greedy need to take over so many stars, um, if anything, what's going to save me is the fact that I've got so much economy that I've been able to save up so much because... Um, Nice thing about that is, for the first about week of the game, it's just a scrabble to, you know, scramble, pardon me, scramble to get as much economy as you can, so then you can afford the science, then you can afford the industry, and so, I'm really hoping, I mean, I'll be getting $290, I can buy, I could buy two science stations and have enough for still to make some industry. Wow. I feel like I shouldn't have been bragging about that, but point is, it's it's a precarious position that I'm in. I think I think no one would want to take me on quite yet, though, just because I do have a big empire. The only thing what would really f me over is green says, "Hey, bud," and "Hey, pal." We got this big, you know, asshole here. He's not even that powerful. Let's do the old sandwich. And then, of course, this guy would... <laughs> I'm basically saying if everyone teamed up on me. But, if basically, if this guy teams up with anyone else, I'm in for a rough ride. 
even if my pack with this guy holds. I mean, because honestly, I re slightly regret making the pack with this guy. He's all right, but he's by far not the most powerful. Although it's nice that we are adjacent. It's not a pact of um, that went my uh, something just fell. Um, it's it's more like a peace pack, but hopefully that could transition to like a war pack of some sort. You know, if I'm really in dire need. Anywho, hopefully we can get that all done and cool. This has been a lot less structured than my other video, just because I kind of jumped into it. Uh, not really thinking. But hey, you can see kind of what I'm thinking. You can see my strategy right now. I'm going to I'm gonna wait it out, use my next payday to beef up my industry and get at least one more science station. So that way, like, I, I, I'm for sure have... I, I for sure have the least amount of ships than anyone else. And that's something I really want to change. So that that's my plan. So... And, Next pay. So in four hours, I'll do that. Get that done. Other than that, hopefully I'll make the tutorial vid. So if I do, make sure to look back. Um, thanks for everything. Uh, yeah, sounds good. So thanks, guys.